Okay, so to view a list of existing keyboard shortcuts or to create your own keyboard shortcuts in MuseScore 4, what you want to do is come up to MuseScore Studio and then click on Preferences. And notice, by the way, that Preferences does have a keyboard shortcut too. It's Command, Comma if you're on a Mac or the Windows key and Comma if you're on Windows. And that's going to open up the Preferences window. We then want to come down to Shortcuts. And on the left, we can see a list of actions and on the right, a list of shortcuts that have been assigned to some of those actions. If we just scroll down, we can see that a lot of the actions do have uh, shortcuts already, but there are many, as we can see, that don't have a shortcut assigned uh, to them. Let's say for argument's sake that in this uh, score, I'm doing a lot of Roman numeral analysis, then I'll search for the action Roman numeral analysis, click on it so that it's highlighted. And now to add a shortcut, I wanna come up to define. And let's say I wanna just try using the letter R on my keyboard. Okay, we get a warning that says this shortcut is already assigned to repeat selection. No problem, let's try another one. Let's say Alt R instead. And that one seems to be fine. So I'm gonna save that and then come down and click on OK. Now if I come over and try to use that shortcut, Alt R, we can see that a Roman numeral analysis text box opens and I can then fill in my Roman numeral analysis for the score. Now you can also reassign an existing keyboard shortcut to a different action if you want by just coming up once again to preferences and under shortcuts, let's just search for that repeat uh, selection shortcut. We can see that R is assigned to that. Um, I'm not going to be using repeat selection, so I don't mind if this is cleared. I'm just going to hit clear. Okay, now that no longer has a shortcut assigned to it. I can reassign that shortcut to Roman numeral analysis. So search for Roman numeral analysis. We can see we have our existing shortcut. I'm just going to redefine that now as simply R on my keyboard. Save. Okay. And let's just hit R on the keyboard now, and we can see that that triggers a new action. So that's how you create your own keyboard shortcuts and reassign existing shortcuts to new actions in MuseScore 4. You might also like to check out my course on Udemy or my books on Amazon, all of which have helped thousands of guitar players and received tons of great reviews. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.